but I welcome you all with love. One of the things that people often ask is, well, we get there's problems with meat. Yes, as you pointed out, there's 2.3 times more colon cancer eating meat, four times more breast cancer, 3.6 more uh, prostate cancer. Um, people generally are not as healthy eating meat. I think we, we got, got that. Now the question is, and so, we take a look at nuts. I'm going to also mention, it, which I often do, is that meat eaters have 35 to 50 percent more cancer, uh, uh, diabetes. Now, that being said, what to do? Because you need a certain amount of protein. So nuts and seeds provide a really, really good alternative. Actually, they're not an alternative. They're a first choice. And research shows, and this is research done on 119,000 people, which is a whole lot of people, over 30 years. And it was published in the New England Journal. So that's highly, uh, highly respected. And it was done at the, uh, by Dr. Charles Fuchs, at the uh, director of the Gastrointest uh, Gastrointestinal Cancer Center at the Dana Farmer Cancer Institute. So different than talking about the uh, uh, coronavirus, where we don't have a lot of data. We got 30 years of study here. It's 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 much more solid. I mean, people like to be skeptical, and it is true. It took us 30 years to absolutely prove that smoking causes cancer. So this is the same kind of thing. So we're looking at nuts and seeds. They're good protein. They're a really good fiber. Um, they have lots of B vitamins. They, they, they really have a lot uh, that are in our favor. But the study was about, and what it showed is had occasional nuts and seeds versus people who never had any nuts and seeds. What it showed is that the people who had occasional nuts and seeds lived, lived, lived 7% longer. And if you had uh, one helping of nuts and seeds, that's one ounce, okay? 16, 18 almonds. So, so one ounce of seeds lived. 90%, 9% longer, and if you, uh, I'm sorry, you live 13, 11% longer, and if you had uh, nuts and seeds two to four times a week, you lived 13%. Not too bad, but if you have nuts and seeds every day, which I do, because I love nuts and seeds, then you actually extend your lifespan to 20% longer. Now, what I like about this is it's a 30-year study because it takes a while to prove these things. You know, again, I, I contrast it to the speculation we have with the, the uh, coronavirus type thing. It's like, it's two months. We, we don't really know what's going on for sure, okay? Here we're like 30 years, 119,000 people studied, followed up for 30 years. So the message is very clear. You can get really good quality protein with fiber, with high quality fat. And if you're doing it every day, you can extend your life span by 20%. May everyone be blessed with this very straightforward understanding, well-documented understanding, printed in the New England Journal of Medicine. It's like, okay, now we, this is a, very provable type of thing. It's pretty hard to disagree with. So may everybody be blessed with this understanding and may we begin to move our diet towards much more nuts and seeds, which will, yes, decrease heart disease, decrease cancer, and decrease rates of diabetes. Blessings to everyone. May everyone benefit by this message. Amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Om Matakyasana.